Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another mod overview slash kind of like review, but this mod isn't really a huge one. It's actually more of a scenic one, if you couldn't already tell. So therefore this review really isn't going to be that extensive. However, it is there so you guys can see what this particular mod looks like in game. And if you still haven't got what it is, it is the um, Autumn Mod by Danny Paradise. It's a free mod that you install into your game like you would install maybe a pair of zapatos or some makeup or a shirt or some pantalons. It's very, very easy. If you don't know how to install custom content, well, that's pretty easy too. I actually have a video going through a step-by-step -step, um, little tutorial on how to put mods into your game and basically you would follow the exact same um, instructions for this mod as well. So what it is, is a autumn mod and it replaces all of the trees and all of the background with um, the beautiful array of uh, a fall, I guess you could say. We call it fall here where I'm from, but it could be autumn or I don't know what else you would call it, but it could be many things. So basically what it does is um, just kind of gives your, your city this... Um, kind of vibe you know like it, it's not it's not going to be authentic I guess you could say like if you were to get it in like a sims you know EA like sim seasons pack or something like that but it is a cool little alternative to kind of give your city a different vibe so what you can do with this mod is you can simply a install it so that the trees are a different color or if you want your grass to kind of also have like this dingy texture to it um you can also put it in as well so there's like seven files total with the grass it's it's really a low um a low amount of uh, memory i guess you could say that it takes up it's so minute it's so small and actually i prefer it with the um the grass that it comes with versus the grass uh that's just normally in the game like i really 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 like this grass and you can also just install the grass if you really like the grass i think john likes the grass <laughs> anyway so this is what willow creek kind of looks like here we're gonna go hop in to oasis springs as well and go and see what fall looks like there too all right so here we are in oasis Springs and we are at the um, normal little park thingy majigger so it looks like the texture obviously isn't changed for Oasis because it is nothing but dirt and sand however all of the leaves and such have this gorgeous kind of olive uh, olive uh, no autumn tone I really really think this looks absolutely spectacular it's really really pretty um the only thing i've noticed that doesn't change color is the uh the ferns see now this would be really cool and even this water looks like it's a different color this would be really cool if they could like put a snow overlay um or you know like springtime it could look a little i guess spring and summer is pretty much the same but i think the next one that they should or danny should create is definitely a um a like winter kind of deal maybe make the trees barren I don't even know or can begin to understand how complicated this is but this is Oasis Springs and obviously each little neighborhood is going to look a little bit different but you get the grand scheme of things so let's go into um what is it uh, Magnolia Promenade and check that out and see what that one looks like but so far I think Oasis Springs is probably my favorite all right so here we are in Magnolia and I am just in awe these colors are so rich so gorgeous so vibrant it actually makes me excited I can't even believe how authentic this looks like like truly if if the sims 4 creates a seasons pack which i really hope they do honestly i'm not going to be yes to you this would be what it would look like with the trees i can almost guarantee it i am so freaking floored on how gorgeous this look and it looks 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 jen really um i'm actually just wow i'm, I'm like my breath is like taken away and even the little poles and things like that the uh the the um the flowers have changed. This is seriously gorgeous. I am, wow. I did not know you could actually go right here and fish on this little deck. That is crazy. I had no idea you could actually go down here and, wow. Well, that is cool right here too, yeah? Hmm, that's fun. I did not know that. That is so freaking cute. 
Oh, anyways. But yeah, I really like Magnolia too. And I'm just, oh, wow. I Good job, Danny. Seriously, this mod is so cool. And when you get tired of it, by the way, you just take it out. It's, it's really simple. In the summertime, though, like maybe not spring, but in summer, I would use this grass too. I really would because, <laughs> I mean, in the summertime, things get a little burnt, if you know what I mean. So this is really freaking awesome. I love it. Cool. All right, so the last stop is Newcrest. And uh, I think after that, well, the only thing I'm noticing is this is a little, a little weird. But after Newcrest, I think we are pretty much done checking out the scenery. But let's go ahead and uh, see what it looks like. All right, so the last stop is Newcrest, and don't mind the, like, barrenness. I don't have anything in this world. This is actually just the world that I use for, like, demos and just random stuff like that. So it's not really anything too important. But anyways, this is what it looks like. You can actually see how the golf course has transformed. The grass is all dingy and dirty and spotty, and even though, to me, I guess, this would kind of remind me of autumn, I'm still getting that more of a, um... More of a summertime feel, like a severe case of the drought. But honestly, when everything else is this kind of, oh my God, look at how gorgeous this park is. But when everything is kind of this um, color, I guess you could say, it makes sense that the grass would also look like this. Look at the poor little elephant. He looks all dried out too. <laughs> A little crusty butt. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. Like I said, you can either have it with the grass, without the grass. You can have kind of whatever you want to do with the combination. I'm pretty sure Danny, um, Danny's going to work on some, some other ones. Hopefully, that would be really cool. You know, like just play with it and go wild. It's fun, especially for picture taking and things like that. Um, I do think maybe if you were to like... I don't know, uh, let's go ahead and try something really quick. If we were to build on this lot here and save it, would we, we would, look at that. So immediately you um, will get this overlay in the background, which who knows, it could be the beginning of, of something amazing. I don't know, but I think this is genius. I love it. It's a quick mod to show, but basically that's all that it does is just change everything, um, all your all your shrubbery and stuff like that. And then it's like the leaves change when you go far to close. It's cool. It's good. And it's consistent. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Is it something you would like to try? Do you already have this? What do you think about it? If you have any pictures or anything that you would like to share um, with me of this mod, uh, go ahead and just tweet me at urban, X Urban Sims on no X Urban Sims X on Twitter, and I just I love your guys' pictures; they're amazing. So yeah, go ahead and tweet me your pics, and I will check them out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick little overview. Um, and yeah, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the comments down below where the sun does not shine, and I will see you all next time oh if you have any other mods or anything that you recommend um recommend for me also let me know all right <laughs> bye guys